So hi, I'm T from Telesphere, and welcome to this uh, tutorial where we're going to make some swords. We'll do some swords from medieval age. So uh, I grabbed some references for this from Google. So we will first put the references into the view, and after we'll start the model. So uh, for the references, I will use just a plane. So I will create a plane. Put here one, it's an art. You can rename it just to know that it, this is a reference plane. So, reference, uh, reference. Now, before I assign the texture there, I need to go to preferences here and no, it's fine. So, be sure that uh, this is checked here if you can. If not, then you have to go here and assign the values to maximum to see the textures in the uh, on the plane uh, sharp. So uh, let's press M to go to the editor and uh, let's choose some empty slot. I will choose this one. I'll make a standard from that again. Click on diffuse. Go up and bitmap and choose a reference. Now be sure to remember this because uh, uh, we want to make the sorts in some ratio I need the plane match the ratio which is here so uh, for me this is the big so I will just <coughs> divide this by 2 so I don't know maybe 500 with uh, 267 or something like that so I will change the settings here and select my plane Oops. And put here 500 and 267. So we have a plane uh, matched uh, our texture. When I drag it there, it's just gray. So I need to turn this on. And voila, our textures, uh, texture are there. So I'll change this to shade to see everything. Now I will turn off the grid, I don't need it, and we are ready to model. Now before I start the model I will change also the units in max. I don't want to do this in standard units which are max default but real units so a unit setup and I will go to metric and I don't know centimeters. You see this is it's it's too big. It's way too big. Or not? Yeah it's too big it's like ten meters. So I need like, I don't know, maybe 10 times less. So I'll just delete the zero here and ah, move this like this. So I will zoom my views on it and I'm ready to model. So turn this on and rotate the plane uh, about 90 degrees. Now. Okay, come on. Okay, I will just zoom out and keep it like this. Now uh, I turned it, uh, this on to move our uh, reference picture by rotating by five degrees. So it's fine. Uh, it's fine to uh, turn this on to see uh, how much you uh, rotating the model or some shape or something like that so I don't know I think I will start from right uh, to the left so I will start with this weapon here now here are not all details it's very some kind of old picture but we'll improvise that we need just uh, a little bit the shape and the size of the sword <coughs> so I will turn this on right click on this object properties and turn this on and turn this on so now my reference picture is uh, freezed and I don't need to worry about that I will select it after. So I will zoom on this a little bit and start to model it from a cylinder. So I will start from this here. So I will just, uh, just draw a cylinder here. Rotate it again for 90 degrees. Maybe it's hard to see but here was the angle which I was rotating. 
I'll paste it somewhere here, let's go here and name it sort while. Now change the size just to 8 and this segments to 1. Now maximize this, F4 to see the sides and Alt X to see through. Now before I convert this to edited poly I will adjust the radius a little bit and make it a little bit smaller. So from this shape I will start to model. Now right click, convert to poly and we can start. Now press P to go to perspective and select this button. Uh, poly, let's go to front again, Z to zoom. We start with a simple bevel, beveling our shape to match uh, this handle. Now after I will uh, uh, assign subdivision to this, so we don't need to do everything like very smooth. Just to make the old plane match uh, our shape. Stuff like that. So I'm just using my mouse to make a nice bevels somewhere until until here. <coughs> now select also these uh, edge, loop it, and in perspective I will a little bit scale this up. Go back to front, Z to zoom, yeah, it's way better. Now, again, select this poly, I will extrude this. I don't know, uh, until here. And now, uh, let's do the handle. Now, uh, I don't know if it's too fat, maybe a little bit. So just with the move tool, uh, I'll move this a little bit. And let's start uh, to model the handle. So we'll select these, these, and the opposite pulleys. Can go to front again. <coughs> and we'll simply uh, bevel this away. So we bevel it uh, some way and a little bit inside and again. I think I will do this three times. Now I will select everything here and here, all vertex, and move this a little bit down. Now deselect these two on the corner and again move them down. And again, this. Okay, you see how easy it is. Now, uh, let's do first uh, some kind of a rough shape, and after we will put all details and fix some things. So, let's go to perspective, and we need to do the blade. Now, uh, I will move this a little bit up. Just to see everything, and now we need to do here, I think, some cuts. So, thinking about how the best to do them. Okay, we'll try like this. So, I will select this and this edge and connect these ones, and these and these, and again connect. So, I'll do Absolutely like the same connects. Uh, this is uh, it's not enough actually. I need to go and connect it here. And this I will do from not left view, maybe top view. Oops, L and Z. No, top view, I mean. Z to zoom on that, and I will do a cut. Now I will do a cut. Uh, for, I need to go to bottom, not to top. So here, I will do a cut and go a little bit down already uh, with the initial shape. So I will not do a straight cut because this uh, wasn't even making the connect between them. And 
I will do a shape like this. No, so, so far so good. So back to perspective. And select all polys here, the new, which was uh, it was cutting. Now let's go to front, Z to zoom. And okay, it's uh, a little bit too big, but it's fine. I think it's fine. I just need to look on something. Now I will try to extrude this a little bit. Maybe from perspective, yes. Okay, the thickness is fine, so we'll go one step back. Now, uh, it's too big. Now, what to do? Uh, very easy. Uh, I will do again a connect between these three. Now, it will connect this in this kind of shape. I'll go back to local here and move it a little bit. Move it a little bit. Probably also scale this a little bit down. Yep, and I will do the same uh, on the other side. Probably I'm I'm too lazy to use the cut tool. So again, connect, move a little bit. No, this way. I'll try to match our shape, but it's still uh, stay in local mode. And also, I will scale this again. Probably like this. Okay, I will make it a view, and <coughs> now we can make from this the shape. Now uh, let's go to front, and let's see. Yeah, this is way better. So in perspective, one more step. Uh, I will inset this tiny little bit. Yeah, this was just tiny little. Okay, like this. No, I think this was too much. Or I will not insert that. Yeah, I want to insert that. So I will go like this. <coughs> First, before I will try to extrude that, I will pull this a little bit away. Just like this. Okay. Now, oops, front. Z to zoom. And let's use our bevel tool, not just extrude, and make from this a uh, shape of a blade. Oh, let's see if. Yeah, we already did here something bad. Oh, okay, uh, this was a little bit my bad. I will use just extrude for this so far. And after uh, I will scale this down. So now let's go to front that, and we'll make like this few extrudes. Oops, that one. And the last extrude will be a little bit smaller. Okay, so <coughs> so we have a, a rough shape of this, and we need to scale that. So I will select everything again okay, here, and I will scale it just in this axis a little bit. I will deselect this one and scale again. Deselect that one, scale again, and deselect this one and scale again. Now the tip of the sword uh, we'll make uh, later. Oh, we can already prepare the shape. Now let's see if uh, it's looking like a sword. Yeah, it is. So, so it's fine. Uh, it's fine that we are going it uh, like this. Now I will um, do a scaling uh, also from this, from the left view, so, uh, but just a little bit. So I will. Try really scale this uh, very carefully. 
just to make it looking uh, more sharp. Okay, this was too much, I think. Yeah, I think this is fine, but it's up to you. If you want to scale uh, it, it more, you can do it, of course. Well, maybe everything I will scale a little bit more. Okay, well, let's go to front, back to front. <coughs> I'm better to perspective, and we can start to work uh, on the blade and after go up and finish the detail on the up. So, uh, Alt X, first of all, uh, I will change the color to gray. I don't like this blue. <coughs> okay, so now uh, the tip. Now the tip will do like maybe someone will tell very strange, but I think it's fine. So I'll select this one and bevel this. Try to bevel it. Okay, it's not going to bevel, so I'm going to scale this. So I'll scale this to this shape. And again, I will extrude this a little bit and scale again. And one more time. But in this time, uh, I will start to scale that. After the scaling, I will collapse or vertex there. To make it sharp. Now, uh, it's up to you if you want to do it uh, like this sharp or not, but I think it should be. Now I'll go to the front view and fix a little bit these things. So I'll scale this a little bit more. And this I will scale a little bit away. Now back to perspective. Select the vertex and Z to zoom. Uh, I will chamfer it. I will try to chamfer it. Oops. Where we are. Okay. Now select something Z to zoom on that. Now select this uh, ugly shape and by using scale, go in uh, one direction and we will make it flat. I move it this way a little bit and <coughs> also I will straight it and yeah, like this. Now, so far so good. Now I will scale this a little bit down, I think. This two. Or maybe this one not. I think I think I can scale a little bit more. Now we, we just uh, want to fit uh, the shape to a sword, so it's up to us how it will be looking at the end. But it should uh, look like the sword. So we have the tip, which is not actually sharp, but is uh, sharper than uh, before. So okay, everything looks fine. I just have no idea what it is. Ah, okay, it's a vertex inside. Now, okay. Uh, so we have here the tip. Now we can anyway fix it a little bit later. Now let's go to front again. And let's see here. Uh, here is inside some uh, kind of shape which is going from this. Now let's do that. And after we'll make uh, the rest of that. So I will drag uh, the selection to select also the poly on the other side. Now, uh, it's going just here. I don't understand why, but it doesn't matter. Now we'll insert this. We'll insert this a little bit more. 
Press OK. Now uh, I will use bevel and make the shape. We'll try to go inside. Oh, very strange bevel. It was going too much, so. Oops. So we just need to go a little bit inside. Be like this and like this. Now, uh, from front view, I will also scale this in this axis. And I will keep it like it is. The rest will do subdivision, I hope. Anyway, <coughs> so again, uh, we can uh, fix a little bit the tip. We can make this a little bit smaller. And uh, yeah, it looks better. Now, uh, thinking what else to do uh, on the shape. Now, okay. Uh, okay uh, I think we should select this one and loop it, but not all around. So we can deselect this, select it manually. Okay, aha, uh -huh, okay, uh, I see. So loop again and again deselect. Oh, okay, deselect these ones. Select it again manually by holding control. And now, uh, to, oh, yeah, we can chamfer this or we can just extrude this. Now this is way way too much. So we'll extrude this a little bit and oops. Okay. Maybe you think uh, it looks a little bit strange, but it will be fine at the end. But here we have a problem, we will fix this uh, later. Because the uh, texture is too high for it. So. So, anyway. Uh, okay, let's make it from scratch again. So we'll go away and like this. No, uh, no, okay, uh, I don't like this. So we do, uh, we'll do it different way. Probably, we, anyway, even don't need to do that. Okay, I will see. Maybe I will do it or not. I don't know. Now let's speed this up a little bit. So on the handle, uh, I need to s oops. Uh, I need to select all vertex uh, vertex on the handle. So I will do it uh, by selecting the edges here, looping them. I need to manually s uh, select these ones. I was doing some cutting there, connecting. Uh, let's go to top, control vertex, and so select also these ones here. Now let's scale this down. Go like this, deselect these ones again a little bit, and a little bit more here.
Oh, let's look in perspective. Uh, it's in perspective it's fine. Which will be fine also on the model after. Now if you want to see how it's looking so far, so we can turn on subdivision with this too. Oops. I'll turn this off and you can see this inside shape which is forming from uh, nothing. Now we have still uh, some things to fix there, but it's absolutely fine. Now the tip is fine. Also, the, actually, the sides are fine, so I don't know if to make that something. The handle is fine, but it's doing this, so we'll fix this in a moment, and also this we need to fix. So, well, we are actually just at uh, the beginning. Well, uh, he will be like the hard part now. Well, Z to zoom on this. <coughs> Uh, I'll try to select this edge a little bit. I uh, can loop uh, all around. So again, I will select this one loop and this one. All takes, and we need to select also the opposite one there. So I think it should be this one, maybe. Now it's, uh, be very careful when you're selecting cadres like this. <coughs> Maybe it's just me, but uh, sometimes I have a lot of problems with that. Selecting the wrong one, transferring them, and doing a lot of troubles. So I'll move this a little bit. Go, go like here, select this one, and loop it. Now this one we need to transfer. We need to transfer it not much. We'll actually see how much we need to transfer. Okay, before the transfer, we need to do uh, some cuts. Uh, so I will do a cut uh, here. The same on the other side. And again here. I will make the cut after going all around the shape, but so far I need just these ones. So again, edge. <coughs> Sorry for that. Oops. So like this one, okay, the loop is not working again. So now uh, I will select my model and move it away from the reference picture. Now let's try to select it all around. Maybe we can sometimes hit the loop and we'll see. And wait a second. Okay, uh, now we can try to chamfer. Uh, this is way better. So we'll use just a uh, chamfer like these ones and now uh, be careful. Uh, it's because uh, we was uh, making. Uh, the chamfer we have here a triangle. Now to have triangles uh, in your model is uh, very very bad. Uh, you should try to have just quads and stuff like that. So uh, here we can fix this very easily and very fast. I will just touch it well this one, and I will move this. Uh, I can try get no get out of local. Yeah, in local, I will move this back to form my shape. Now, uh, the triangles here uh, will be causing problems when we uh, will be uh, applying subdivision, so it's very important to fix them. And even if you do anything else, uh, just try to keep away from the uh, triangles. I'm trying in all tutorials to avoid them, and if I have them, to fix them somehow. and don't pretend that they don't exist. Maybe sometimes I would like uh, to do it. Just like, okay, I don't see any triangles, but not not now. Okay, have this here. So just chamfering this one. Uh, now 
Uh, this cut I will do a little bit later. I'll try again something here. I'm just thinking how far I should go. I'll try to cycle to the other side. Loop it. Hmm. I'm sure uh, I don't want this chamfer on the handle here. Here it could, can uh, here it can be, but not there. So I'll try to do a chamfer here, all the way uh, around. Okay, we can try like this one. Just let's uh, see our shape. Oh, it's fine so far. No problems. Uh, here we have triangles, which we will destroy in a moment. So far we will keep them. And yep, it's fine. Now here it should be fine too. Maybe. Yeah, it's no, it's too big here. Uh, you see. Now it's obvious that the uh, white is too big and anyway we'll do this and fix. Now how we'll fix this is well we, we can just move them in some view uh, to make the chamfer smaller. Just we uh, need to be careful that we are selecting the right one. I'm not sure that I'm selecting the. Well, of course I'm not. And again, so anyway. No, my bad. I'm selecting uh, all the time something else. So I will not scale them. Uh, I will weld them. Now uh, I will select these ones, these ones, these ones, and these ones here. Now I will hit weld. It's too big, and I need. Oops. No. Yeah too much, so I will keep the value like this. And it's fine now. Now back to our shape. Z to zoom on that. <coughs> yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, let's fix the triangle here. Oh, uh, I will fix it like uh, I will do here a cut, just like this, and weld this down. No oh, bad idea, surely. Okay, um, don't keep attention. <coughs> okay, uh, anyway, uh, I will fix this in a moment. Uh, I need, first of all, I need to do here a chamfer on all sides, so I will select these edges here and loop them. Maybe I selected too much. Yeah, I did, so again. I'll try it like this. Okay. Okay, now uh, I need also this here. I'm thinking of also this. No, I don't think. Yeah, I, I need. Probably. Oops. Maybe just use this uh, select tool. So let's uh, manually select uh, everything which we need uh, to transfer. 
because what we will not chamfer the handle um, it will go inside when you subdivision it will be looking very strange so <coughs> now so the game So <coughs> no, yeah, it's better. So selecting, selecting, uh, rotating around, um, trying to select everything uh, which we need to select by the sort. I know it's a uh, probably a lot of edges. It looks like a lot of edges, but it's fine. I think it's fine. Selecting already much more. Well, we don't need to chamfer this here, so we try carefully to select it. And oops, this one, this one, loop. Okay, again select that. Now again, uh, I will deselect anything uh, and everything uh, what I don't need. Already thinking that I will not jump at this one. And now I think I can use uh, the loop if uh, I deselect something uh, accidentally. And let's use the chamfer. Okay, now this is fine. I like it. Now uh, again, we have here some uh, triangles uh, which we'll fix in a moment. Uh, before we need uh, to transfer also this one, this one here. So I will loop this, and we can make the same transfer at the end. Now again, uh, select this one, this one, loop, transfer. Now let's go here and fix this. Oh, I need to think a little bit how to fix them. Oops. <coughs> select this one and Z to zoom. I don't know if I'm even able. Yeah, I think. No, I don't know. So delete this with backspace, but uh, I don't. I'm not sure that this will solve anything. No, it will not. Again, uh, Z and zoom on that. Thinking, thinking, but in all, uh, what about uh, what about I'm thinking is all the time so. Triangle, so oh, okay. I have an idea, so I will go back here for the card and I will select uh, this one and a ring it. it should select just this here and not, yep, just that. Connect it once, the same uh, I will do also here. Ring and connect. And now uh, I will use my cut tool, make here the cut, and for one triangle we have two. Now 
here and here a cut. And now I will try to delete this. Oops. not how I wish it would be. Okay, let's try subdivision how will be looking. Okay. I don't see any trouble with the triangles. Okay, I will even don't uh, fix them. But it will be the best to keep them how they are. I was chamfering bad to chamfer something more. And I'm sorry for that, but it's nothing tragically. Tra uh, probably uh, I will think about this and fix this later. Now again the subdivision. Okay. <coughs> yeah, horrible. Okay, select this and these here and move them a little bit forward in view. Now the shading is a little bit strange here. This is fine. Now the same uh, here. Oh. Okay. Uh, now the same here. We'll just pull it uh, away one direction. And now uh, I will use my cut tool and make here a cut. And I will, from the hand, I will just uh, do the cut straight all around. And a few more. And I promise I will be thinking about the triangles and uh, fix them later. Uh, it's very bad uh, to fix them like now, because <coughs> honestly, I'm not sure how to fix them the best, and I will just make uh, a lot of time trying to fix them, and I don't know how to be looking. No, I don't understand why this shading so very very strange here. So I'll delete this here. Uh, I will delete also this one. Uh, select the hole, cap the hole, and I will do. No, it's making all uh, absolutely the same. I don't. I don't understand. Now maybe I should go back to some other drivers than I have now. I mean. The graphic drivers uh, it's very, uh, looking very very strange. Now it's smooth, uh, it's very very fine. Uh, so I don't know why it's showing so strange. So let's look. Uh, I think it's very fine. It's like absolutely smooth. It's very looking uh, nice. So uh, we'll go a little bit more up now try to finish it uh, in this part uh, I don't want to make just one sword in at one part so I mean uh, one sword in two parts of course but maybe I will so I don't know uh, let's select the top uh, poly here I should be this one or I don't like it much
Okay. Uh, okay. Now, by the way, I wasn't trying the tutorial before, so I'm just modeling from the scratch. Uh, oops, no, not save. Back to. Uh, let's insert this like this. Scale this in this axis like this. I will pull this a little. No, I will not pull this up. Mm, now let's go to front and we'll do extrude. We'll do extrude. We need some of them. Can go half centimeters up. And let's go more times. Until here. Now I will select these, these, this one, this one, and this one. Loop them. Backspace to delete them. I'll select also the vertex here. Backspace to delete. And 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 and. Let's select this one. And probably I should start to do it from a different shape, but I think we will have a problem to do it also from this shape. Okay, I selected the front one here. So let's go to front again and again few extrudes. Like this. And now we will do the scaling. Uh, little boring one. All ticks, maybe it's true, and I'll select these ones here. And let's scale. Okay, this is fine. Scale this back. Let's go to all ticks. Uh, select these three, four. So without this, these three inside edges, loop them. Control vertex. And with this, I need to go which way? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I need to select just this one, my bad. So I'll select this outer, outer edge. Uh, loop. No, it's not nothing looping there. So again, this one, this one, loop. Okay, not the looping is not working here. Now this will be very strange, uh, but trust me. Like it will be looking strange how I do that, but it will be fine at the end. But I need somehow to select the polys, and I'm afraid uh, that I will select something which I don't want to select. It's always a risk, and after it's hard to fix anything, so... Control Vertex here. <coughs> I select it again too much. It's, is this possible? Get back to... Body. Ah, my bad, my bad. I need just to uh, select these vertex here. And I'm a little bit lazy uh, to select them manually, so I'm trying to select like this, like that. And anyway, control uh, vertex and move this inside. And now I need this one here. Control and yeah, to move a very very strange shape like this here. Now let's go to front. Select everything like this and go a little bit away. 
Now I'll also select it like this and connect this uh, two times. Let's go to perspective and let's select this one here. Uh, loop it and scale this. And also this and this in the middle loop and scale. It's looking like destroyed paper. Uh, I think I have something wrong selected how it's uh, in the view, how it should render the view, but I'll fix that later. Uh, here and now, now I need to select also these ones here. So loop them again and make it like this. Okay, maybe it's not absolutely matching, but the idea is, I think, uh, very clear how to do that. Now, it looks a little bit like a teddy bear. Okay. Now, uh, select uh, this and this one here, loop it. I'm going to transfer this a little bit, uh, like this. And probably it would be nice if this one, this one, be scaled also. So let's go to front, we'll select them. Uh, by vertex. Now again, perspective as uh, at zoom. And yeah, we'll make it a little bit bigger this way, and it will be again looking a little bit different. Oh, really, I don't care much about how this will be looking. It's not important for me. If it's for you, okay, sorry a little bit. But I don't think so. Uh, okay, now again, let's use this, but as you can see, it's. I was trying to match uh, the back. Yeah, it's of course, it's not the same. I should do more scaling. Have the vertex there, but it's, I think you can do it very easily and uh, quickly by yourself. And it's just about the idea, the way how to model it uh, very quick. Now, here we have our sword. Now it's not looking so bad. Hmm? And I think we did it very fast. It's still, some things to fix. Uh, I mean, it's never finished. You know, the feeling like. Uh, you make something and change uh, every minute something else on the model. So it's also here. Okay. Now to make it a little bit more interesting, uh, I will connect this once. Uh, also this one here and this one here. Now I will move this a little bit. Up. Okay, now I will select uh, all of these edges which I create now. Oh no, this one too. Okay, we can also this one loop them. Now we will transfer them. This, I will select uh, the inside edge of all, bring them, control poly, and we will do a bevel. We'll do a bevel by local normal, away from the shape, of course. Too much, so a little bit back, probably a lot of back. 
and press OK. So now if I will press subdivision, it will look like this. It's a little bit uh, more interesting than just a rough shape. And <coughs> like this you can put there a lot of details and stuff like that. So the next step uh, at front uh, I will do here the sphere which should be inside. We check this one here and make just a sphere and in some view uh, with this perspective I will pull it inside. I will not make anything else with that. So I can change the color. And the first sort, I think it's done. Yeah, again, I'm thinking about this all the time. Like, I don't like it much. I would like to fix that. And actually, I don't want to fix that because it's like, I don't know, afraid to waste your time. So, without this selection here, I will scale this. A little bit down and move it. Also down and this too. So I'm just making it a little bit smaller. Oops, I will adjust this. Now, why it looks that it's rotated? Yeah, I know. I will set the rotation there. That is a little bit better. I don't move it in the center and. Okay, is it zoom again? And okay. Oh, it's a little bit better. Yeah, actually, it is. Okay, uh, so this uh, this was the first sort. Now we will have to make this one here. It's very similar, just uh, this is a little bit different. So we'll just practice the same, or we'll just edit uh, this sort here. Uh, I don't know. We will see. And after we'll do this one here, which is some schmidt or how it's called. Yeah, I think we will just edit this model and make it look like this and rebuild this one here and stuff like that so uh, thanks for watching and see you in the next part bye bye